everyone one of the most important thing for any forensic investigator is to do disk geometry analysis where um, you can look for any deleted partition you will have to present how many partitions this particular drive had um, what are those partitions so and so in this tutorial i will um, show you how you can analyze your uh, disk especially how you can collect the information from master boot record which is mbr uh, also you need to uh, collect the information from volume boot record which is vbr uh, and uh, after you collect these two pieces of information you may also consider about any deleted partition and i will show you how uh, you can look for those deleted partition um, and how you can recover the partition so mainly few things uh, we'll go through with mbr we'll uh, check vbr and we will see how to recover deleted partition therefore all the data uh, what is stored on the deleted partition so let's start here now very first thing um, uh, by now i will assume that um, you okay with uh, in case uh, once you um, once you start using your in case you create a case you add the evidence um, now after adding the evidence if you uh, this is your home screen if you click on uh, evidence and then this will give us the uh, drive or disk what we have here uh, in this case uh, now what i will do i will right click on this disk image um, and, and then i will go to device and disk view uh, so right click here remember you when you see this uh, disk sign right click here device and disk view uh, it will give us the view of um, how this drive is inside um, uh, what we call uh, sector view um, if you click here left click that will take us inside this drive uh, where you can see the folders files but we are really not interested about the files and folders for this particular task we are more interested about the disk view sectors and uh, the data inside the sector so let's see how does it looks like on disk view okay. now uh, this screen is showing us all the sectors each of these are individual sectors by now most probably you okay with the concept of sector this is the smallest unit uh, within your hard drive um, where you are storing the data uh, now each of these sectors can have um, different um, uh, different capacity to store the data uh, however uh, the one we are investigating here does have 5 12 bytes so each of these sectors can contain 512 bytes of data this is very important number remember it please uh, each of these sectors can contain 512 bytes of data what kind of data are we talking about we are talking about um, anything it can be something used by operating system it can be something um, uh, your files or folders everything will be stored into these um, individual sectors now when it comes to master boot record um, uh, this is really important um, information uh, to run your computer what happens I will briefly go through with post operation power on self test once you uh, turn on your computer BIOS will check um, whether all the hardware components are working or not uh, once it find all the hardware components okay then it will look for uh, MBR master boot record where it will find out how many partitions this computer does have uh, and which partition does contain the operating system couple of information like that now MBR if just uh, theoretically if the MBR was located anywhere in this hard drive your BIOS would take long time to go through with hundreds of these sectors and uh, to read the MBR instead it is standard that MBR will be located on very fast sector of the hard drive in any case this is the very fast sector you also can have a look here which is 0000 so this is sector 0 again uh, please have a look at this information here at the bottom which is 
PS0 stand for physical sector zero so uh, we have um, I have selected physical sector zero now which is the MBR now our second task would be to read what is inside this sector so at the moment you can see this sector but you can't see what is inside that sector to read the content of this sector please click on this which is hex now this is giving us the hex sub value of um, all the data stored in this sector actually all of these sectors you can see here does contain some sort of hexadecimal values and to see it you just need to come here and um, uh, check it here now uh, you can see a number of um, different things and many of those really uh, not understandable by a uh, human many of these um, maybe uh, you won't be able to understand um, in plain eyes uh, however some of these you can understand such as on this side you can read what does it means if there is anything uh, written in um, English or something it's saying that uh, partition table error loading operating system couple of error uh, information here we are not very uh, bothered about those error information right at this stage what I want to see is uh, where is the partition table so that I can find out how many partitions this hard drive has um, C drive D drive or things like that to read the whole partition table you need to right click here you can right click on any of these uh, a brief summary this was sector zero please remember this was sector zero this is sector one this is sector two now i have selected sector zero now i am on sector offset in other word all the bytes you have in this sector um, i would like to have your attention here at the bottom where it said sector offset at the moment i am on physical sector 0 and sector offset 0 I want to read particular byte I want to read particular sector offset um, to get the full table uh, for our partition in this hard drive to do so I will right click here I will go to byte offset 446 now if I uh, go like that way it will take me to the correct byte instantly um, I could keep moving my cursor and come here now from here you need to select 32 bytes I have selected 32 bytes I know it ends here because very last two bytes are um, the signature which says that this is a partition table this is kind of a partition entry after selecting 32 bytes so i have started at 446 and i have selected up to 509 after selected that i click on decode i click on windows here and then partition entry this gives me the partition table of this hard drive so from here i can see this hard drive does contain only one partition which is NTFS partition status 80 this means that this is active partition um, a hard drive will have active partition if there is a proper operating system installed so this hard drive can boot from C drive uh, which is the active partition very important information here relative this field is um, defining where this partition has started so you are talking about c drive you will know that your c drive is starting from sector 63 how big this partition is 3894849 that many sectors you have um, in this uh, in this particular partition now if you want to convert it to megabytes gigabytes you can easily do it by multiplying it with uh, 512 bytes as you know that one of this sector does have 512 bytes and this is the number of sectors what uh, we have on first partition so uh, what we found so far we clicked on MBR 
then we clicked on hexadecimal values uh, within the MBR and we have selected sector offset from 446 up to this before 55AA which is the signature of this uh, boot partition and then I clicked on decode I uh, clicked on windows partition entry and I can see the um, total partition table of um, this hard drive now MBR is done what we need to do is to check uh, VBR volume boot record what volume boot record is um, MBR contains the information about all the partitions but um, volume boot record contains the information about uh, that particular partition so imagine if you have C drive and D drive MBR here will tell you that you have partition 1 you have partition 2 but when you go to this particular sector which is the relative telling us that where the partition has started then that sector will contain the information about that particular partition now uh, let's go to that sector so that we can check um, uh, what is uh, the VBR information we have uh, in there what is the volume boot record we have in there now remember uh, we are checking a different sector now uh, we, we will again check the uh, sector contents but uh, first of all we need to go to that sector which is sector 63 to do so uh, this time I will right click on this uh, this end go to and I am trying to go to sector 63 now uh, again you could um, keep uh, going by selecting the arrows but um, I just use sector 63 uh, directly to come here now when I am on sector 63 see that um, this sector 63 also does contain 55AA at the end which means this is again a partition entry but this this will look a bit different than MBR when you are reading MBR you haven't seen anything like NTFS obviously that information was there but somewhere in the middle when you are reading the volume boot record you will find the um, partition type um, in beginning of the volume boot record or sometimes in the middle but you will see it very clearly here you again also will see some error information like um, NTLDR missing many times I'm sure you saw this sort of message uh, when you are using Windows that um, NTLDR missing press um, control alt delete uh, to recover NTLDR something like that um, now when we are reading VBR what I would like to do is to see um, actually how many sectors this volume boot record does have um, so from MBR how many sectors we found let me see from MBR I moved on to MBR sorry folks um, from MBR I just need to have that number uh, I'm going to 446 selecting up to that decode uh, windows partition so from MBR it's saying that my first partition should have 3894989 sectors let me uh, take a note one sec please 3894989 94849 okay so from MBR it's saying my first partition should have that many number of sectors now if I go to VBR this time reading the VBR is a bit different than reading the MBR and this is the place where uh, most of the people get confused when you go to the VBR you go to sector offset 446 select those numbers no it doesn't work like that way you have selected the VBR if it is NTFS VBR I will show you FAT VBR at some other um, um, other tutorial if it is NTFS VBR what we can see from here you need to go to sector offset 40 
and you need to select 8 bytes including 40. So I have selected sector offset 40 to 47 to read the VBR. Now what do I do? Shall I go to decode? Windows, Microsoft? No, Microsoft is not providing that information. Therefore, we need to right click here on selected bit. Then we need to click on go to little Indian and this is the number what is uh, telling us how many sectors this particular volume does have now hold on this number 3894848 but uh, from MBR we had the number 3894849 so MBR told us C drive does have uh, 49 sectors but VBR is telling us no VBR does have only 48 what's wrong with this we can't have two different information from here actually what is happening every partition will have one primary VBR and one backup VBR now if it is NTFS partition backup VBR will be at end of the partition so if you start counting 3894849 sectors from here plus add all those 63 what we have uh, left before then you will see a backup VBR now I will try to find out where the backup VBR is 3894849 I had to add 63 with it um, because of these 63 sectors on top uh, but I'm just keeping it here uh, if I keep going down I'm sure see now um, just uh, looking into the different color I, I, I can guess that this is the backup VBR and how do I know this has a signature NTFS so this is the volume boot record for that partition that partition has end here and this is the backup VBA for that partition not only that if you go at end of this again you will see this 55 AA which will tell us that um, this is a partition volume um, so this is the way how you check your VBR uh, just a quick recap um, we have started with MBR and MBR we found it on sector 0 from MBR we found that um, a volume has started on sector 63 then we came to sector 63 we found how many uh, sectors this partition has and we try to um, uh, we try to match these two we saw that um, VBR is giving one number less uh, and we found that one number is actually a backup VBR what has um, MBR has counted that but VBR is saying that no I don't know anything about it obviously that's its backup that's um, not a place where uh, you can store the data that will be a systems sector allocated for system okay folks um, I will leave sometimes for you to do this uh, practice to go through with it and then I will be back um, with um, partition recovery thank you